with one at Carlisle, like an NOS finish panel, I'd pay up to 1500 bucks for one. Be right there. Be right there. And on the deluxe okay, seat, okay, where are you going? Okay. No, you're not. You don't need to get it. You don't need to get We're it. Just gonna hang, hang on, Tony. One second. Last time you had responsibilities, I ended up repainting half a car. How are you doing today, What are you man? talking about, Mark? I didn't ship any car or anything. I could have signed for the package. It's just a package. You signed. Yeah. yeah sign it, I'm sure that you could. That's definitely not parts for my car. Why couldn't I just sign for the package? Because the last time that I allowed you to do anything that was responsible, you rented. it. Okay, you ruin things. You know I'm not the one that ships the door, right? All I know is you were the guy that was in charge when the oh, door right. got Who's chipped. So now? it doesn't matter. Who's in charge now? It's a chain of command. I'm in charge now. Well, who was in charge then? Me? You were in charge. That's it. Where were you? I was here. But I wasn't there. You were the here, door. I, I remember here seeing the door you. door was chipped. I wasn't even in the room. I, mean, I didn't chip it. Do you want to know who chipped it? But I'm not gonna tell you who chipped you it. You wanna know I'm what not... worries me? What? You're starting to look like that Grindle character. Is that yeah. good? Look it up. How do you spell it? This time on Graveyard Cars, Friday. Friday, all of this for Friday. Why don't we get a new? Mark is gone, we're gonna get a lot done. Who are you to come through and start delegating? You, Have you ever pushed press bearings into the control attitude. line? No way. That's a client's car. Bad dog, bad dog. You're, you're pushing it too quick. He's taking the whole front half of the engine apart when all he had to do was take four nuts off. Well, that's just you. insane. I think I could run this place no problem. Absolutely stunning. 59 Charger Daytona. It was a pile of junk, now it's gorgeous. You wanna know when your car's gonna be done? When's it gonna be done? Coming to get you, Barbara. The unburied dead. Coming back to life. My name is Mark Warman. I work with my worst enemy, Darren Kirkpatrick. Give me a gun! And my son in law, Josh. Whoa! Along with my best friend, Royal. Well, all right. And our newest team member, Holly. This is exciting. We bring dead cars back to life if we don't kill each other. Oh, Mark. Oh. Oh. It's gonna be a bloodbath. Oh. Looking forward to having Tom come out. I think it's pretty cool that he's willing to take his vacation during the summer just to come out and hang out and give us a hand on his car as well as some other stuff. Uh, he has truly become a good friend and maybe more like a family. Uh, and I always enjoy hassling him and torturing him about his bald head. So it should be a lot of fun. Did I tell you Tom emailed me last night? I think I mentioned it. No. Nope. Tom's gonna be here at the end of the week. I do not want to disappoint him like we did the last time he was here, okay? Last time Tom came out, he was kind of bummed out because his car hadn't been painted yet, and it should have been. So this time, I just want to blow him away. I want him to walk in and just go, wow, look what you've got done. Here's your list, so pay attention, kids. The Daytona Charger needs to have the front and rear suspension built. The car needs to be lowered down over all of it. It needs to have the wheels and tires put on it, moved into the assembly room, wiped down, and have the spoiler installed by the time he gets here on Friday. The problem with that is, if that's all we had to do, it'd be a piece of cake. The Challenger, if we're gonna stay on track for me to be able to get that to the border by the end of the month for the owner, we're gonna have to have the front and rear suspension built on it and have the car lowered down around it and ready to go into the assembly room, take the place of the Daytona Charger when it's done. What are you we're not smoking? Gonna make it. I'm not smoking anything. It's nice to set goals, try to motivate people, but the goals also need to be realistic. It's a very unrealistic goal that Mark has set. Unless he wants to be with us and work 24 hours a day, maybe we can get it done. Um, I think it's possible to get that done in a week. If we can stay focused, Mark can uh, calm down. I think Mark has a brain tumor. Okay, what I want you to do right now is to get up off of your funny legs and your funny feet and those strange looking legs with no meat on them and go out there and start blasting every single component for the front and rear suspensions and get them laid out on a table. And then you go get all the new parts that I have from uh, Mr. Moparts laid out so we can marry the two together for the Challenger. Okay, I'm gonna start putting the stripe on the Daytona Royal. If you'll start rounding up the, the new pieces just like he is for the Challenger, you start rounding up the new ones for the Daytona. Be right there. Now you can read the article later. Is this this week, this month, this year? Friday. <laughs> Friday, Friday, all of this for Friday. Because he wants to come on. He wants Kurt. to keep on track with the 1977 roof Challenger, and then he wants to get stuff ready for Tom's car. And da, 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 da. why don't we get a new? Would it help you if I flushed the toilet? Would that help you guys <laughs> feel more at home? Mark, you're. A right now is a great opportunity on the Daytona to move it inside the booth and put the decal on. We're rocking and rolling. I don't want anything to slow us down. 
The Daytona Charger decal is a gorgeous decal. Other than the 71 CUDA billboard, I would have to say the Daytona is the most difficult one to apply. The Daytona graphics kit has a few unique things to it that if you're not paying attention, you might not even notice. The A at the end is actually leaning to the right hand side, which is I think a real cool characteristic. And a lot of the aftermarket ones don't have that in it. This one actually does, and that's factory. Just little key things that you need to make note of if you're working on one of these cars. What's up? What? Oh, yeah, I texted you. I saw you. Good reaction time, too, like two seconds from that room. It's not bad. See that right there? That's the problem with all of it right there. Every single day. Just bears on you, wears on you, and beats you down, keeps you down, holds you down, puts you down to there's nothing left of you. And that's why we have no production out there. Is that why you brought me in here? Here's what I need. You know what a vehicle wrap is? Yes. You know that van that we have out back, the all white one? Mm -hmm. I want to put a wrap on it so it's like a mobile billboard. I want you to find me a company that will wrap it affordably. I'm not going to spend any stupid amount of money on it, but I want it wrapped from head to toe. I guess Mark wants me to find a company that does vehicle wraps. To create the artwork and put it on the van. And I want that van just to pop. I want it to scream graveyard cars. I want it just to be in your face. You know what I'm saying? I'm really excited about doing it. Gives me a little break from um, having my nose in the books and looking up codes. Okay. You can go back to work. Thank you. So I've been blasted for three days straight and I'm freaking tired. I know Mark's extremely busy. He finally got the sunroof working. That's a plus, and now he wants to get the front suspension built. So now I'm out here blasting parts like crazy, and thank God that I've got the bad boy blaster because it's made my life so much easier. I'm on my final item, the drive line, and as soon as that's done, I'm ready for whatever else Mark's gonna throw at me. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Okay. So I just found a company in Portland, PDX Rats. They're completely perfect for this job. I think that Mark is gonna be ecstatic. The Plymouth Barracuda and the Dodge Challenger are very similar cars. At a glance, most people can even get them confused. In truth, the Dodge Challenger has a longer wheelbase than the Plymouth Barracuda. Did the Challenger receive a longer wheelbase by one inch two inches or four inches. Stay tuned after the break for the answer. The Plymouth Barracuda, or Cuda if you will, was always considered to be the entry level of the e-body muscle car, while the Dodge Challenger was more of a luxurious model muscle car. The designers behind the Dodge Challenger wanted to make it a little bit unique and a little more luxurious, therefore they added room to the rear floor pan, allowing the passengers to be more comfortable. So the answer is, the Dodge Challenger's wheelbase overall is two inches longer than its sister, the Plymouth Barracuda. Visit GraveyardCars.com to learn more. I'm getting deliveries from Overstock for my big surprise, and Darren won't keep his nose out. Holly is on the hunt for a place to wrap our van, and we're all busting our asses to keep the Challenger on schedule and make major progress on the Daytona before Tom and his family get here. Over the last couple of years, our growth and our success has managed to fill our parking lot up with cars to a point where there is no extra space. So I decided I'd call Chuck down at Springfield Auto Recyclers to ask him if I could just park Frank and Hearst there. And he said, sure, that's no problem. Come on down. He's got a cool yard. It's like 12 or 14 acres. So that's what I'm doing today. Wow, this looks really nice. I like that. Everything's <laughs> laid out. I can see everything. You're welcome. Did you do that? Did it all, man. Me and Josh did it all. Thanks, Darren. Today we're gonna to work on the front suspension for the 1970 Sunroof Challenger. Front suspension is my favorite part. It's, it's quick, it's easy, although Mark don't think so. I know what I'm doing. 
we're gonna go ahead and start installing the upper control arms, lower control arms, pitman arm, idler arm, sway bar, tie rods, tie rod sleeves, putting the ball joints in. Josh and Rell are good help. Mark is gone. We're gonna get a lot done. How are you? Awesome. Did you see me pull the hearse in? I seen you pull the hearse in. That hearse looks yeah. awesome. It's gonna go real good with that ambulance I think next that looks to pretty it. good. It looks really good. My name is Chuck Harrell. I own Springfield Auto Recyclers. I started it in 1972. If you need an old car part, we may have it and we will sell it to you at a good price. So I talked to Mike a little bit ago. I told yes. him I was coming down anyway with the hearse and he said he had a couple of charger bumpers. One yes. of them he thought was a fresh chrome. I was wondering if I could take a look at that one. Let's go do it. Josh, if you want to put together the tie rod ends, the sleeves, Darren, you can give him a hand, or you can see if you can find two more bushings for the for that other control on the or miss. You know, I, I don't think anybody's in charge here just because Mark's not here. I mean, I think we're all big boys. We don't, we don't need a boss. But it didn't take you long, did it? For what? Just to take right over because Mark's not I'm here. I'm not taking over. I'm just trying what to get things it? done. What do you call it? Sorry, what do you, do you want to do? Around? You ever put, you ever now you've got him. Have you ever dude. pushed press bearings into the control You've an attitude line? now. We can't leave you in charge. We know what happened last time. Do we really know what happened last time? Well, do we really? Yeah. Darren, don't let us down. Come on, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whatever. So how is it going down there at the shop? You know, besides being just absolutely swamped, which is why you're helping me out, yes. um, things are going good, I think. Ah, piss on this. Come on, Royal, let's go do oh, something attitude else, Attitude like that, we really don't need that around here, John. Oh, yeah, Darren. In the last couple of months, I've really been giving the guys a lot of extra tasks, and they've been coming through. Who are you to come through and start delegating? Maybe you should go back and sell nuts and bolts again. It won't take that long. So I got a lot of confidence. It's why, like, even today, I can get out and do this. Because remember, you haven't seen me for a long, long time. Long time. So yeah. it's, it's at a point you were where. We're really busy down there. Now. We are. And like I say, okay. I can really trust them. And so yeah. you got them in here? Yep. Oh, well, there was two bumpers in here, but now there's only one. I only have this one. Are you still working this rail? I've been here two minutes. What's the matter with you? Yeah, I don't know what's gotten into Darren. He just comes over here and starts bossing me around. Like, he comes up and asks me why I'm not done yet, like Mark would. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm just, somebody's going to have to take over here. like that? Somebody's got to take over here a little bit. I mean, you and Josh. I'm... 100 more pounds, you'd be Mark. Darren's always complaining about Mark being bossy, and then when, you know, Mark leaves, he just turns around and starts bossing me. And I mean, I know what I'm doing. I don't think they've put together that many front suspension. Anyway, why don't you start putting that, that cable room together? Maybe if you need some help, Josh can help you. you know, why you does it do? have to be like this? I'm just gonna, gonna, I'm gonna supervise. Gonna supervise? No. How about we all just work together as a team so that we can get it done quicker? There's an idea. Josh, you've always got to put something weird in there. Bad enough, Mark does it. It's a little bit different with Darren. I remember seeing it. Huh. Well. That is a 69 uh, Charger bumper. You want to? Yep, I'm going to have to go back up maybe and he see. Pulled, yeah, check and see. Maybe he pulled it. I would have yeah. expected he did. Yeah, but I might buy this one, here. though, as a core. Just All right. Well, we can make you a deal on that one. But let me find out where that recro. Maybe he okay. pulled it up and laid it up in front and went there. I'll okay. be right back. Okay. I'll just double check it. The good news is there's one in there that's a good donor core. But when I talked to Mike earlier today, he had told me he had one that had just been chrome that he bought from some guy at a swap meet. Chuck thinks it's supposed to be in that Chrysler. I don't think it's in that Chrysler, so I'm hoping it's up front or wherever they're at. I'm hoping so anyway, because we're running out of time under a Daytona. It'd be nice not to have to send one out for Chrome, but we'll see. Yeah, I've been thinking, I've been watching you and Josh attempt to work. Someone's got to lead, and it's definitely not going to be Josh. I think it should be you. Me, be me. If you're less interested in drinking rock stars, and we've got a little bit more work done, I think I might be different. I don't trust your abilities to lead any farther than I can while I throw that rock well, star. Well, you can't throw that rock star very far. I can throw it farther and more accurate than you can any day of the week. Want to bet? Yeah. 20 bucks? Sure. I bet you 20 bucks I can throw it further You're than You're not involved, Junior. Just stay back a little bit, OK? Well, no kidding. You got physics in your favor. You're twice as tall and your arms are twice as long. Yeah, well, look at Napoleon. All right, well. That's not a good looking face. Yep. Mike said he had it, but he sold it this morning. Did you tell him you wanted it? Well, I didn't say I wanted it. I told him I was going to come look at it. Oh, Mark, you know, lots of people are looking for these bumpers. Sold it. Out the door. Gone. F. OK. Gone. Well, this is a good core. Yeah, at least you got something to recore them anyway. Yep. Well. Should have should have done that, but should have, should have. 100 bucks for a core? Yep. Yep. You sure. got it. All right. Well, other than we got it. So meanwhile, I'm bragging up how great my guys are doing, and I screwed up and didn't buy a bumper when I should have. 
Only for you, Mark. It happens. <laughs> it's a special thing for the kid. All right, stakes are. 20 bucks? No. That sounds good. No. Oh. No, winner, winner is boss. Winner is boss. You really want to have him be the leader even if he wins? It was your choice, man. But yeah, you mean Roy were doing it and you jumped in. Tell you what, if I get closest, I get to choose. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. That's fair. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. up. Go ahead, Long John Silver. Josh Charles back. I don't know, he's drawn back further. Missed. Oh, well, kind of yeah. overshot Pretty it. Pretty close. There. Really? Nope. No, oh, age no. before beauty. No. <laughs> not bad, not bad. That was close. Not that bad. was only three feet to one side. Not a problem. Oh, shoot. You're still hey, you almost had it, man. Thank well, you very much. Hey, it's better than nothing. And uh, again, thanks for letting me store the old uh, Frankenhurst. Hey, no problem. Well, I hope you do uh, well with your bumper. I'm uh, going to go back. Next time, I want it. Say, yep, I, I got it. it. I got it. All I right. got it. Not your fault. See you, Chuck. Thanks, yeah. man. See you later, Mark. Bye. Basically, I think I did really well today. We got the hearse out of there. That gave us some room down there at the shop. Uh, I did end up with a donor bumper for the Charger because I didn't even have one of those. I'm going to go back to the shop. If they've got the suspension together, we can get the car loaded on the suspension and get that thing moved back in the assembly room. <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> 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 That's horrible. No, that was a go horrible ahead. Shot. I won't hit you on okay, here. Same time. Same time. Ready? I don't, One. Trust, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. One, two. Here, wait. Three. Ah! No way. I'll take it. No way. Did you hit it or did yeah. you go in? I hit it. Okay, boys. You guys, you want to start with the bathrooms? And you're growing a second set of eyebrows. That is an absolute miracle. Ta da! I think I could run this place no problem. It'd be just like working at the zoo. <laughs>That's a rechrome? No, thank you for asking. It's not a rechrome. We got junk like that out back. Would you like to know what it is? No, we don't have a 68 or 69 donor bumper. I wouldn't be going through it. Yes, we all do this. on that red six cylinder car. Mm. That doesn't belong to us. That's a client's car. You know, when I walked in the door, I thought to myself, I saw you guys in there, I thought, three perfect reasons toilet paper exists. Why? <laughs> I called down there earlier this morning. I talked to Mike. You I dropped said, the ball. That's what happened. I didn't drop anything, you pig eyed. I called him and I said, Do you have a bumper for a six? I knew they had parted one out a long time ago. He says, I got two of them. I got one I picked up at the Portland Swap Meet. If you don't stop shaking your head. So I says, Great, I'm going to come down and take a look at it because the one he got at the Portland Swap Meet was supposedly a fresh chrome job. That's why he bought it. Plus, he had a donor one. So I said, okay, I'm gonna come down and take a look at it. Well, between the time I could get Frank and Hearst loaded up and get down there, they sold it. <laughs> no, it's Why my fault. It's my it? fault because Why I was would supposed you not to say, say it. How many times have you done that? Why would you not say it? Let me tell you something, because here's the difference. You say you're gonna be here, it doesn't really matter because your word means nothing to you. So you may be here, you may not. But if I tell you, I'll take it, hold it, I'll take it, and then I go down there and I kick the part, then my word's no good. So I try not to use, I try to make promises that I can't keep. And you're growing a second set of eyebrows. That is an absolute miracle. Hey, that That's is a put-down. That's ridiculous. That is a put-down. Don't scream. Don't let him talk to you, you like that. Drop, you drop the ball, right? Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Let's just stop it, huh? Anyway, all I want to do right now is I want to take the car, put it down on the suspension, and roll it back into the assembly room. You think we can do that? I guess we're not going to put the rear bumper on, are we? You better have something done. Ta-da! Well, I'm not exactly thrilled at the idea. All you've got is two lower control arms on. I guess you got the strut rods. Well, considering half the parts are missing. Okay, Don't. maybe it was just two bushings. Every single thing was out there. Every single thing was out bushings. there. Two bushings. 
Two of the upper control arm bushings were missing. I don't expect a lot out of them. I've learned a long time ago, lower your expectations, you'll be less disappointed. So if you had the, the upper control arm bushings, they'd be in and we'd be done. This is all my fault. Or you screwed around like you always did. You what did you actually do since I left? If you start doing something, you'd be done quicker. I'd like to ask you a question, Royal Galen. You asked me you stand you up, want, please? Buddy. What required what did you, you to do while I was gone? Why did you leave? Why did you leave us? Well, I pressed the lower control arm bushings in. <laughs> got them in. Bushings in. Got the, they put the rods on. Mm -hmm. And then we had a little discrepancy. We had a little discussion about who was going to lead and who was going to follow. I left you in charge. No, you didn't. I left you in charge. I most certainly did. Yeah, I remember right. because my lips said, you're in charge. That's one of the ways I knew. You left the wrong person in charge. So if he hadn't been in charge and you had been in charge, there'd be no trouble with the whole front and be ready. And we'd, we, right now, we wouldn't even be talking. That's what got we'd us be behind. lowering the car down. That's well, what got us behind is it. he challenged me and I took him up on it. Challenged you with what? <laughs> Throwing rock stars. Well, it was, an, it was another I just game. Got drug into What's he talking It was another about? game. Darren, you came up and said you could throw farther than me. No, you said that you I did. couldn't throw. Let's look back on the film. You said you Time couldn't out. Trust I'm me. not interested in any of your foolish, we hugged rock ignorant stars responses. It was a competition. We That's hugged great. Rock stars. If I find out you threw rock stars or anything else out in the parking lot, I'm going to kick the living crap out of you. We disposed of the evidence. We cleaned it up and threw it away, so it's okay. You won't find anything back there. Okay. So who's in charge? Sounds like he tried to uh, undermine the authority that I had left in place. That's what Darren does. You're never gonna be in charge. The last time I left you in charge, you destroyed my team. You destroyed the CUDA. The time before that, you destroyed the 71 Charger when I left you alone. Okay. You had cables going all upside down and then they were, no, time I'm not out. Let's come clean. I already know who chipped the door, fool. You. It doesn't matter physically who was involved. It doesn't matter emotionally who was involved. Yeah. It was it you. Say it, guys. You're the guy Say I put it, in charge. Who did it? It doesn't matter. It. it doesn't matter. I don't care who put the chip in the door. It doesn't matter to me. Whoever did it should own up to it if they haven't already. But the fact is, Darren is the responsible party. What? Seriously, though, let's actually get this thing put Real together. Real you're in charge, what would you like me to do? Uh, by the way, Royal's doing that right on a drum brake car. You'd never get that cotter pin in if that ball joint was already attached ah, to the circle okay. with the backing plate on it. Absolutely no trouble putting the rest of the front end together. I'll have it done in 45 minutes. We'll get the car out here. We'll get put on the bin pack. We'll lower it down on the suspension. It'll be the first time those two have been reunited in 40 years. So. Tony just started making the right clutch for that. We didn't have it when I put that on there. I put, got it in there on the assembly bench. Grab that and switch it out real quick. I don't want to do it once it's in the car. The radiator will be in the way. Stop milking the thing and put it on. I haven't got this one off yet. <laughs> you understand that you don't have to take this off of there, that all you have to do is take those nuts off and this will come off. Do you know that mentally in your mind? Yeah, I knew that, but I thought it'd be easier to do this. It wouldn't be easier. It'd be harder. OK, I've got only one in left anyway. Then we could. You guys done yet? He's taking the whole front half of the engine apart when all he had to do was take four nuts off. Four nuts, put the clutch fan on it, and we can go home. You can go, we can do this. I don't believe you can. I saw what happened last time I left earlier. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was gone all day. I came back and it was like 45 minutes worth of work done and 16 man hours clocked on my on my time clock. Ever since Tony's Mopar parts have come on board, finding the difficult parts has been just a breeze for me. However, the bananas aren't putting them on, okay? So all that means to me is we've let a horse to water, but we can't get it to drink. Now, wasn't that worth putting on? But did you actually notice that that is the correct finish and face, the nickel cadmium finish on it with the, with the slanted? I mean, look at that aftermarket one that we had to use. Where's that heap of dung at? Wrong, right, right, wrong. Right, wrong, wrong, right. It's opposite. All it needs now is just rolled underneath there after the car's in the air and set it down. And remember, we want to put the control arms, look at me, the control arms in the car and then lower it down onto the bindles. That'll be a lot easier. Let's blast. Hey. Thank you. You betcha. True or false? The A62 Rally Instrument Cluster was considered to be the best looking instrument panel and most functional of all time. Chrysler in the day didn't want to take any chances and make a styling change. Therefore, that panel appeared the same throughout the entire four year e-body run. Stay tuned after the break for the answer.
True or false? The A62 Rally Instrument Cluster was the same throughout the entire four-year E-Body run. The answer is false. The 70 and 71 instrument panels were identical. The 1972 to 1974 did experience some styling changes. Chrysler added a fastened seat belt warning light on the right-hand side of the dash. They also changed the tachometer from 8,000 RPM limit to a 7,000 RPM limit to play down the horsepower of the day. And the reset knobs for the tripometer and the clock were no longer coming up through the wood grain panel, but rather over the top of the wood grain panel in the opening of the instrument itself. Visit graveyardcars.com to learn more. After emotionally beating the turd stains down for wasting half a day throwing rock stars in the graveyard, I had to step in and supervise the suspension rebuild on the Challenger. After that, I installed a beautiful factory correct clutch fan that I got from Tony Spark. If you butt monkeys can get that suspension underneath the Challenger today, I'll go up and grab that van and bring it back. Maybe take you out and feed you a hot dog. Your people like hot dogs, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sauerkraut. I'm really excited for today. We have a lot going on. Uh, our van is en route to Portland. Holly had found a vinyl wrap company and they are gonna put the graphics on it. Uh, I have to pick that van up tonight. Before we go to pick it up, I wanna make sure that we get the front and rear suspension and drive shaft underneath our Challenger RT so we can stay on track for getting that car delivered. For the fans out there, no, this is not my car. Okay, I don't know what that means. Darren, you're pushing it too quick. Slow down. Watch your back. Well, Better built. Okay, straight forward. I'm noticing. Oh, they are. Everything about them is. He said forward, Josh. You're pushing the wrong I'm way. I'm trying. It's forward to me. Okay, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Backwards, Josh. That's Backwards. what's funny. You're pushing hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Casey Folk. I'm owner of PDX Wraps in Sherwood, Oregon. We wrap vehicles from start to finish. We design, we produce, we install. You come up with an idea and we can make it happen on your vehicle. Mark called me the other day and I do happen to be a fan of graveyard cars and he said he had a van he wanted to wrap. I told him to send me some ideas that he was thinking about so he sent me some images via email and I checked them out and uh, just threw some stuff together and sent him a proof and went from there. Yeah, this one's kicked out too. Good grief. Oh, I'm in. Okay. They look like they can't Okay, I'm in. Me. Yeah, I think it's the wrong rear end housing. No. It's a B body? You yeah. dumb Gonna go housing, over. we hope. I don't know though, man. We'll find out in a minute, right? Yeah, let's go get a little closer and see what it does. So that would go there like that. That's better. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, let's try it. Okay, I got my side in. I got it. I got it. When you make the preparations like I do all week long, you guys come in and look like Mark, heroes. Mark, the only preparation you got is H. You, you hear what preparation sure you I had all, every, uh, every bolt H. cleaned and ready to go. Sure you do. Preparation H. <laughs> all right, coming down. Let's rock this thing. Mark, Let's don't rock get, down don't to Don't start getting in a hurry. You know what happens when you get in a hurry? Yeah, we get things done. No, stuff gets messed up. All right, can we let her down? Not yet, Mark. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Well, Royal's still busy. Do you hear him? What I don't want to do, Royal, is be pushing the car and have all of the upper control arms slam good. in. That's no, good, right? yeah, you want to snug them up, but you don't want to pinch those bushings because you'll tear them until you get the weight of the car on there. OK, that sounds good. What I'd like to do now is lower this car yeah, down. do it. Away from you. There you go. OK, get going. Remember when I was saying we do that to block the back of the camera up, that stand? OK, nope. it's going to go up So right just now. go up. It's, going it's up. OK. Everything's going to work out. I got to get somewhere, buddy. Okay. Can I go a little bit? Yes. No, I got to get somewhere. OK, where do you got to go? Let's I got to stop everything. I got to pick up some kids. Where are they? Are they by themselves somewhere? No, but they got to get Are they by themselves somewhere? They have to get to. Then a... they're safe. No, they got to get to an appointment. Ah, dang it. No, Mark, the parents got to be at an appointment. <laughs> Everybody okay? Everybody okay? Yeah. Everybody okay? Everybody's fine. 
That's what happens when you hurry stuff. The car slipping and almost caving my skull in has nothing to do with the fact that I'm in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry, but I'm careful. It's his constant picking. It's Darren's beating me and, and talking to me and constantly sidetracking me so I can't do my job. Now don't start getting in a hurry. You know what happens when you get in a hurry? Yeah, we get things done. No, stuff gets messed up. Nobody was hurrying, guy. I was you. arguing with you. Nobody was hurrying. You almost killed us because because your kids can't sit five minutes. You okay, Raise Royal? it back up again. We're all fine. That's what well, that's how Mark does stuff, Royal. That's yeah, that's exactly how Mark what does happens stuff. when he kill him, jury rigs something like that. We got a lot of work done on the Challenger. The motor and the transmission are now in it, as well as the rear suspension and the drive shaft. There's a few loose things that need to be tidied up. I'm going to leave those with Royal. Meanwhile, I'm going to take Chips up to Portland to check out our new van at PDX Wraps. Whoa, dude, <laughs> Casey, hey, Mark. right? Yeah. How are you, man? Nice to meet you, Mark. Oh my gosh. Hey, Darren. Hey, Casey, how are you? Good, are you? Well, that's just you insane. Too. Unbelievable. This thing is gorgeous from front to back. It's better than I could have imagined. All I really did was I, I gave Casey a few little ideas that I had in my mind, and he came up with that. I couldn't be happier. Absolutely stunning. You guys have a beautiful shop, too. Wow. Thank you. I walk in, the shop is immaculate, it's detailed. It looks to me more like a showroom than it does a shop. And, and that's the kind of people that we want to align ourselves with. You just couldn't help but love it. It's fun. It's Halloween all year round. Pretty much, yeah. The van is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, everything and more than I expected. It is just a great looking van. Bam, there it is in your face. And it, you can imagine it, but you can't until you actually see it. It's different in real life. So all I gave you was that I, I like Scooby-Doo, you saw our animation, and that I like kind of the graveyard scene. And so how did you concoct the rest of the, the idea for it? And the design-wise, it just kind of fell together. I just took your ideas and, and just did some searching and found some cool cars online and threw some elements together and it all just kind of went together. Going around the van several trips, each time you go around, you see another detail and another element. It's like, wow. You did a gorgeous job. Thanks. That was really, really great. Darren came up with Mark today to pick up the van and uh, sure enough, he. He kind of picked it apart a little bit. Darren, what do you I think? see what the big deal is. Look at these colors right here, don't even match. I'm pretty impressed with how the van turned out. There's, of course, there's some imperfections and some little nitpicking we can do, but I'm not like that. You all know me by now. Yeah, that guy's a, that guy's a piece of work. Oh, that's a Mustang you put on there. <laughs> Mustang on this side, Camaro on the other side. With Darren, I, I realize that he's, he has the effect on you like dog ears. Like an hour and a half in a vehicle with him is like seven hours with a normal person. Uh, it, it's one of those things that just grinds on your nerves, it beats you to death. When you get out, you're just constantly looking to steer into oncoming traffic. So on our black 71 Cuda, it uses what we call a billboard decal. Mm -hmm. Pretty good size. Yep. Covers most of the quarter, probably two thirds of the quarter. How on earth do you do one that's the size of a football field? Well, there's, uh, there's probably a little bit of difference between the material you're using and what we use. So in other words, anybody could do it. I'm sorry. I won't go that far. Well, I mean, I'm get somebody sorry. at the bus stop, bring them in, and yeah, yeah. no problem. Well, I think, I think I could run this place no problem. It'd be just like working at the zoo. <laughs> We're a thousand percent happy with the van. Absolutely came out gorgeous. Really, all that's left is to load it up on the rollback and head back to Springfield. It's got to be good. 69 wow. Charger Daytona. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. Crazy. You want to know when your car is going to be done? When's it going to be done? The Three Musketeers helped me install the front suspension and drivetrain for the 70 Sunroof Challenger. Royal and I were almost killed because Darren wouldn't shut his fat face. And we had the chance to get up to Portland and pick up our van from PDX Wraps, and it's gorgeous. All we have left on this week's agenda is to get the front and the rear suspension under our Daytona Charger. The clock's ticking, Tom's gonna be here soon, and all I'm hoping for is things go right. You got the lug nuts. Why don't you go pick up Tom at the airport? They're gonna be in any minute. Just go grab him real quick, bring him straight back here. What do you want me to take, my car or the new van? Yeah, I want you to take your rolled over kicked in Jeep with the back end shortened up two and a half feet. Yeah, take right. the van, it's got brand new graphics. That's well, why we I had the whole crazy thing done. Can I take Show that thing off. home too? What? Can I take that thing home too? No. Why? So the, um, that's the best. Or, 
Wow. There they are. Look at that. Look at that. That thing What's looks awesome. Yeah. Absolutely never going to get tired of that. That looks so good. Was that their first try? That's beautiful. That's probably, yep. Huh? Who's that? Oh, it's, oh, it's Uncle Fester. <laughs> it's Tom. Got the whole tribe with him, too. Nice. Tom showed up today with the family from New York in the Graveyard Cars van. I'm um, looking forward to visiting, hanging out, having a couple of dinners with them. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? How are you? How you doing? I've never met how, how are you? Hi, how are you? I don't do that. Oh, hi. How you doing, brother? Good, she good. she ran you? from good. me. Good. Hello. Hey. The generosity of women never ceases to amaze me. You got Tom, who looks like a big toe with a goatee, his girlfriend, who is adorable, and his two kids that are absolutely stunning. How does all that work? But yeah, how you doing, man? I realized that there's a mailman out there or a milkman or something. What's that? They can't be from my Oh, like no, of course there. they are. That's where they get their looks. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did They're you beautiful, say just like me, inside and out. Have you not seen here? <laughs> I didn't. You're I didn't, ridiculous looking. I didn't know you had three daughters. Glad you could Well, I know. Oh, I know. Look at, oh, look at you. <laughs> look at the brown noser. I thought he had a very nice family. I don't think he deserves them. I think they're better than he is. You know, he is bald. What do you think of the van? Uh, is that gorgeous? I think the van is gorgeous. Is that the coolest design? It is. Uh, is the, the coolest van. awesome. Two problems, though. It's a Chevy. And that should be a Daytona on the side, not a Superbird. I know you got a Superbird, but the Daytona was first. Is there anything? You know, there's a, you just like <laughs> the last time you were here, the most negative person on the planet. Yes. Absolutely negative. There's I get nothing your ball you can do. Right to you. Let me tell you something. Tom, that guy's a hater. You want to see your car? Yes, yeah, wrap, let's wrap your car. car. There's a shine in here. I wonder what that is. You got a lot of shines in here. God. Two. It's the, the two best looking bald balls. Balls guys there are. It's the Pumpkin Head Brothers. What? Revealing a car to a customer who's been waiting years to get it back or to be able to see some major progress on it is as fun for me as it is for them the first time they see it. 469 wow. Charger Daytona. <laughs> that's for, that's cool. Crazy. It looks so good. Can I touch it? Can't sure. Paint it's like candy. It looks wet. Wow. Last time that we saw the car, it was just, it didn't even roll. He pushed it home and it was a pile of junk. Now it's gorgeous. Who doesn't want to drive this? Tom, I wanted very much to have the motor in it, but we had a little setback this week. Right. So I did put all the suspension underneath it so you can at right. least see how it's going to set. Yep. I also saved a big piece of candy for you. I'm going to let him help me put the spoiler on. Wow. You girls can help. And you did leave the overspray, like I said. Well, yeah. Like I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd have never been able to put together if it hadn't been for you, Well, Tom. you know, the, you, know, you told me to do all the research, Sloda, so. What, I'm sorry? The Jedi Master, Sloda. I don't think you're in any position. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. You like that? <laughs> Ooh, you got me. Yeah, meatball head, potato face. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, I don't know how a mechanic worked on this. And he did anything from I don't the front. think little people like you did work on it. I think he was probably taller. <laughs> oh, Mr. Funny. People. You know, he drinks those rock stars because he thinks he's funny. Off camera, it, Jethro Dull. <laughs> <laughs> ZZ Flop. So that's what you've been doing all this time? You've been planning this all that time? No, no, no. Just That's the kind of dissension I get? He's gone for months. He's got Google at his fingertips and he comes up with Jethro Dull. That's it. ZZ Flop? That, that's child's play. What about, uh, 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 <laughs> how would you like the honors of putting on the coolest piece? I really did say that right. because I know you've been talking about it forever. Mm -hmm. You interested in helping me put it on? Absolutely. I'll do whatever else you want. You want to put, well, you want to put the kids to work? Yeah, I want them to do, at least so they can say they did something, mm -hmm. you know? I think it'd be a cool family thing. Oh, I mean, yeah. Cassie and Brittany. Would you like to help us put the spoiler on? Absolutely. All you're gonna do, we'll, we'll hold it in place. I trust you. All you gotta do is put the nuts on the bottom. Then I'll tighten them all down. Ten. Pizza. <laughs> the girls did. Hey, line me up in those fronts, Rollo. I can't see everything. That didn't sound good. The holes don't line up. Well, no, because you have to go at it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, I think the wing just makes the car. The white wing and the white Daytona stripe really, really add to the car. It just makes the car totally. It's beautiful. So, when am I going to get to do my first burnout? 
so people can call the police in my town and say there's a red car with a big white wing on the back doing a burnout. You want to know when your car's going to be done? When's it going to be done? One month. I need one more month. Okay. I have absolutely everything to finish it. Well, Mark says it'll be done in a month. I tend to want to believe him. Um, I know it's taken a couple of years to get to this point. I know there's still a lot left to do um, on the car, but I think it's going to be awesome when it's done. Hopefully it will be a month. If not, I'm going to give him one of those Nova Canes that he wants to give to everybody else. Dad had us come out today to show us the car, show us what stage it's at, because he's always taught us to really go for your dreams, never give up. It's really cool to be here with him, for him to be able to show us this and show us his beautiful car. I'm really glad that Tom invited uh, myself, his daughters, Cass and Brittany, to come and experience this. This really pulled us all together. Um, sharing this experience with, um, with him and his girls have, has been extremely wonderful. Um, we've got to meet all the guys at Graveyard Cars. We've got to see the shop, which was unbelievable. Um, we never knew what took place in actually putting this car together. You no, know, I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, we're so close. I feel like we're seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. The finish line is approaching. Not to use a pun with a car. Woman. Ah. Mark Woman. W O M A N. Okay. Thanks, sir. Heavy, it's got to be good. <laughs> woman. W O M A N. Mark Woman. <laughs> You're a funny man, Darren Kirkpatrick. Despite the fact that you and the other fools ruined oh, a day and a half of work that you could have been doing instead of playing foolish games like throwing a rock star in a garbage can out in the graveyard. What there are, are windshields about? and glass out there. What are you, you know, talking about? You don't remember? Congratulations I remember I if you don't contest. remember. I remember I won. I beat the young bucks you out of remember. their own game. I won as usual. Royal was threatening my authority. Yeah, I noticed you took the reins over from Royal, No, too. he had them. He had the reins. I know, and up. you took them away from him. That's what I'm trying to yes, say. Yes, he didn't deserve them. After that, and after I realized that they, they can't be trusted, you can't be trusted, things went really great. We got the yes. Daytona moved into the assembly room, absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Tom's fiance was super impressed, as were the kids. The last time they had seen that car, it was a rolling bucket of snot like your car, OK? <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, this is a beautiful car, and you can see that it's going to be gorgeous when it's done. PDX Wraps did a phenomenal job on wrapping the van. Okay. I love the it's a great job, and it's exactly the spirit of exactly what I wanted, too. I wanted that little bit of Scooby-Doo mystery machine along with some modern-day graveyard cars. I think it came out really, really nice. You know, see all the mistakes, the errors, the mismatch, the colors that were way off? Why are you so full of hatred? I'm not. What You're is your problem? Professionals. That's weird because it's been back for a couple of days, and everybody that's seen it's actually crapped their pants. The pin stock markets went up like 200%. The Challenger. Big time payoff. Once again, after I take back the reins from the fools, from the unflushables, the Challenger is looking great. It's got the motor, it's got the transmission, it's got the drive shaft, it's got the rear end, the rear suspension. It is now ready for a final body assembly and interior. That is what happens when the man takes over from the fools. You not remember what That's happened? That's how it's You not remember what happened with Royal? You almost killed Nothing Royal. Nothing happened with you. Almost... Stop with your foolishness. You almost killed Royal. Why is everybody overreacting? The only reason that it happened is because of right now, because you were trying no, to wind me up. you were unsafe. You were trying to wind you me up. You were trying to push me, saying you had to go get your grandkids. Your grandkids don't care about you. Don't you understand that? Nobody cares. What matters is getting the cars me. done. Oh, 